Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the psychometric testing website howtobecome.com and in this tutorial I will teach you how to prepare for a psychometric test. So if you have to undertake a psychometric test anytime soon, make sure you stay tuned because I promise to help you pass at the very first attempt. Now, during a psychometric test, there are usually the following type of test questions. You will have to answer verbal reasoning, abstract reasoning, numerical reasoning, logical reasoning, and mechanical aptitude test questions. And to help you prepare fully for your psychometric test, we will cover each and every one of those different test questions today. So to help you pass your psychometric test, this is what I will cover during this tutorial. Number one, I will explain how to quickly answer the different type of psychometric test questions. Remember, during your psychometric test, you will be under timed conditions. You have to answer the questions quickly. Number two, I will then give you 25 psychometric test questions to practice live on the screen. And remember, practice makes perfect. The more questions you practice in the build-up to the real test, the higher your scores will be. And then finally, number three, I will tell you where you can instantly access my free online psychometric test questions and answers suite which you can access on your mobile phone or your laptop it's a free service and you get lots more practice questions to try remember practice makes perfect and just very quickly if you are new to this channel please make sure you hit that subscribe button thousands of you are passing your tests and your job interviews i can only help you if you are subscribed and please give the video a like that just tells me you find these tutorials useful and it also motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, the first section of this psychometric test tutorial is verbal reasoning. Let me now give you an example verbal reasoning test question and I will then explain how to answer it before giving you a number to try live on the screen. Question number one. Find the nine-letter word that describes the action of challenging or disagreeing with something. So we are given six letters, but it's a nine-letter word. So we have to decide which letters go in the blanks. Well, I can see immediately what that word is. The word is objection. So objection is the word used to describe the action of challenging or disagreeing with something. So the correct answer is objection. And don't forget... You have to answer these as fast as possible. So, now it's your turn to try some verbal reasoning test questions. Please put your answers to the questions 2, 3, 4 and 5 in the comments section below the video for marking. So, I will come on here each day and mark your answers for you. Here we go. Question number 2. Find the nine-letter word that describes a container that holds coins and is used for saving money. Now, in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, there is a timer. You only have a few seconds to answer this. Tell me your answer in the comments section below the video. Here we go. Try another one. Question number three. Find the nine-letter word that describes a way or method used to carry out a particular task. Here's your timer. And if you are able to answer these in that time limit, you are doing exceptionally well. Question number four, another one. Find the nine-letter word that describes a dummy used to display clothes in a shop window. Here's your timer. And question number five, before we move on, find the nine-letter word that describes something that is easily set on fire. Here's your timer. Tell me in the comments section below the video. Okay, well done. And don't forget, you're going to get more verbal reasoning test questions to practice very soon. But let's now move on to abstract reasoning test questions. 
These come up often during psychometric tests. Again, it's important you practice lots of them in the build up to your real test. Let me give you an example question and then I will get you to try some live on the screen. Question number six, which shape completes the object? Is it A, B, C or D? So we have to decide which shape from A, B, C or D goes in that space there to complete the object. So the fastest way to do this, because A, B, C and D look pretty similar and they are the same color, is to start at the top and decide which squares need to fit in that top row. You need two squares, then it's blank, then one square. In the next row down, it's three squares. In the next row down, it's one square and then finishes off with two. And the only one from A, B, C or D that fits that process is C. So you can see there with C, there's two squares across the top, one blank and then one square, three in the next row, one in the next, and two squares or cubes in the bottom row. So the answer to question six is C. So now it's your turn to try some psychometric abstract reasoning test questions. Please put your answers to questions seven, eight, nine, and 10 in the comment section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. Question seven, which shape completes the object A, B, C, or D? Tell me in the comment section your answer. Here's your timer. Fantastic. Again, if you are answering these in the time limit, you are making great progress. Question number eight. This is a bit harder. Which set of bricks, A, B, C, or D, completes that wall? Here's your timer. You'll have to be quick. Tremendous question number nine. Which shape, A, B, C, or D, completes the object? That's quite difficult. Here's a timer. And question number 10 before we move on. Which shape, A, B, C, or D, completes that object? Here is your timer. Okay, we are making fantastic progress. Let's now move on to numerical reasoning test questions. Now, in psychometric tests, numerical reasoning test questions are the most common. So make sure you practice lots of these. Let me give you an example question, a work through, and I will then give you lots to try on the screen. Question 11, which two numbers come next in that sequence? So we are presented with a sequence of numbers, two, three, nine, 11, 16, 19, 23, 27, we have to decide which two numbers come next. Now, my advice is to start on the left-hand side and try and find a pattern. Now, sometimes you will find a pat pattern in the numbers as they progress. But in this case, you need to look at the odd numbers first of all, and then the even ones. So look for a pattern in the odd numbers. So the difference between two and nine is plus seven. The difference between nine and 16 is plus seven. The difference between 16 and 23 again is seven. Therefore, the difference between 23 and the missing number has to be seven, and that would be 30. Let's now look at the even numbers, two, four, six, eight, and 10. So the difference between the second and fourth number is eight plus eight. The difference between 11 and 19 again is plus eight. The difference between 19 and 27 is plus eight. Therefore, the difference between 27 and that final missing one has to be plus eight. The answer is 35. Therefore, the answer would be 30 and 35. Okay, so now it's your turn to try some numerical reasoning test questions live on the screen. Please do put your answers to questions 12, 13, 14 and 15 in the comments section below the video for marking. Here we go. Question 12 which two numbers come next in that sequence? Is it A, 21 and 17, B, 21 and 15, C, 17 and 34, or D, 19 and 30? Here's your timer. Well done, fantastic. And again, if you are answering that in that time limit, you are doing brilliantly. If you need more time, just pause the video. It's important you answer it correctly. Question 13, which two numbers come next in the sequence? 
This is a bit harder. Use that same process. Is it A, 1970? B, 65 and 60? C, 60 and 60? Or D, 60 and 70? Here's your timer. Tell me in the comments section below the video your answer. Thank you very much. Question 14. Now this is a little bit harder for two reasons. Which number is missing from the sequence? So you have to decide which number goes where that red question mark is. Also, I am not going to give you any answer options. This makes it a little bit harder, but you need to be aware that sometimes during psychometric tests, you will not get multiple choice answer options. Please tell me in the comment section below the video, your answer to question 14. Here is your timer. Brilliant. And if you do need more time, as I said previously, just pause the video. Question number 15. Again, which number is missing from the sequence? Here's your timer. Brilliant. You are doing fantastic. Okay, let's now move on to logical reasoning test questions. These are difficult, but again, they come up all the time during psychometric tests. Here's my example question and answer, and I will then get you to try some live on the screen. So the question is, question 16, which figure, A, B, C, or D, fits the sequence? So we have to decide which of those figures, A, B, C, or D, goes there. Okay, now, sometimes you will find a pattern starting from the left and moving to the right across the top, and then across the bottom, or the sequence might go diagonally. So you need to look for patterns in different ways. And this is a really good thing to consider when taking the real psychometric test. So I can see a pattern diagonally. So if I start at the top left, I know that there are two plus signs. Then in the diagonal at the bottom, there's three plus sides. And then finishing at the bottom, there's five plus signs. That means at the top there, there has to be four. Okay, so then if I quickly look at the bottom, A, B, C, or D, I need to find the ones that have four plus signs at the top. Well, there's only two of them, so I can use a process of elimination and get rid of two answers straight away. So for example, A, there is five across the top, and also D, there is five. So that leaves me with just B and C. I then look at the bottom. There is one plus sign. Across the top, there's two, and at the end, there are four, which means there, at the bottom one, the third one along, there has to be three. And the only one is B. So that's me answering that psychometric test question by using a process of elimination. And that's a great tip to consider when answering psychometric tests. Sometimes use a process of elimination. So now it's your turn to try some of these logical reasoning test questions, which form part of psychometric tests. Please put your answers to questions 17, 18, 19, and 20 in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. Question 17. Which figure, A, B, C, or D, comes next? Here is your timer. Brilliant. Well done. And I'm sure you'll agree. Practice makes perfect. Try some more. Question 18. This is quite hard. Think of your answer carefully. Which figure, A, B, C or D, comes next? Here's your timer. If you get this correct, I will be impressed. That's definitely a tough one. Question 19, which figure, A, B, C or D, comes next in the sequence? Again, here's your timer.
Brilliant. Well done. And as I said, if you are answering these in that time limit, you are on track to do well in your psychometric test. Try one more before we move on. Question 20. Which figure, A, B, C or D, comes next? This is a difficult one, but there's there's a very simple solution to it. Can you spot it? Here's a timer. Okay, well done. And don't forget, very soon, I'm going to tell you where you can access my free online psychometric testing suite. Let's now move on to mechanical aptitude test questions, which often form part of psychometric tests. Let me give you an example question, the answer, and I will then get you to try some live on the screen. Question 21. Which rope, X or Y, is needed to support the load on the crane? So there's a 200 kilogram load that that crane is holding up. Is it A, rope X, B, rope Y, or do you need both of the ropes? If we were to remove rope Y, what would happen to the crane? Nothing would happen because X is supporting the load. Whereas if we took away rope X, then that crane would fail because X, rope X, acts against the force of gravity. So that 200 kilogram load is pulling down the crane, but the rope X prevents it from doing so. So the answer there would be a rope X. So now it's your turn to try some mechanical aptitude test questions. Please put your answers to questions 22, 23, 24, and 25 in the comment section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. Question 22. If cog A turns to the left, which is anti-clockwise, which way will cog C turn? Is it A, clockwise to the right or B, anti-clockwise to the left? Now, sometimes, depending which country you live in, anti-clockwise is called counterclockwise. And you can remember clockwise because that's the direction the hands on a clock would turn. And anti-clockwise or counterclockwise is the other direction, which is to the left. Tell me in the comment section below the video, which is your answer option? If cog A turns anti-clockwise to the left, which way will cog C turn? A or B? Here's your timer. Question 23. Tanks A and B are filled with water. Which tank will empty first? Is it A, tank A, B, tank B, or C? They will both empty at the same time. Tell me your answer in the comment section. Thank you. Question 24. At what point A, B, or C would you need to place the 30 kilogram weight to balance that beam? A, B, or C? Where would you place that weight? This is difficult. Here is a timer. And the important word there is balance. That's the important word. Question 25. Which shelf? So there's two shelves there, A and B. Which shelf can carry the least weight? Make sure you read the question. Is it shelf A, shelf B, or could they both carry the same weight. So which shelf can carry not the most weight, the least weight? Here's your timer. Brilliant, well done. Okay, the next thing to do, if you want to accelerate your learning even further and try more psychometric test questions on your smartphone, laptop or computer, is click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video, head straight through to my website, howtobecome.com, and you can get instant access to my free online psychometric testing suite. It's a brilliant resource. You get an abundance of more test questions to try, numerical reasoning, verbal reasoning, abstract reasoning, spatial reasoning, mechanical aptitude, the list goes on. Make sure you check that out. Also, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. 
Over the years, thousands, thousands and thousands of you have been passing your psychometric tests and your job interviews. I can help you progress throughout your career. I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please give the video a like. That tells me you find these tutorials useful. And it also motivates me naturally to create more content for you. If you don't like the video, then it doesn't really motivate me. But thank you so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I wish you all the best for passing your psychometric test. Have a wonderful day.